What's up, guys, and welcome to episode 11 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. Last episode, we opened up all of the winter top crates after finally completing Fairy Tale Part 1 and getting us to 18 farming. I don't know how much of a difference it actually made in opening up those crates, but 18 is far better than 1 regardless. And now with our nice acquired massive cash stack of 170k compared to the 84 GP I had before, we're going to head and talk to Sir Tiffy right here and buy some much better armor than the one we've been rocking. We're going to buy the very expensive pieces of initiate for 18k, but compared to the bonuses I was rocking of this hardcore Iron Man armor, literally plus 38, 37, and 27, we jump all the way to... 83, 80, and 69, along with 14 prayer bonus, going to be absolutely massive when I start up Slayer. This episode's probably going to continue some more questing that I need to get done, as well as finally hopping into some more Slayer tasks that I have much better gear and cash and things, and I can actually teleport around a little better with my fairy rings. Oh, by the way, I would definitely recommend you go back and check out that bonus episode I did. I think it's probably episode 10.5 of me opening up the Winter Talk crates. 100% worth checking it out. I definitely got a little lucky. I'm not going to spoil anything. But you're definitely going to want to check it out. I got to say, I am looking like a unit right now. Okay, now that we have completed Fairy Tale Part 1, I'm going to be working on completing Jungle Potion, which is what I'm going to do next. But after Jungle Potion, the goal is to complete Taiwana Trio. And the purpose of that is so that I can catch Karambons when I'm AFKing. But first, we're going to go ahead and we've made it to Narda. I'm going to have this guy clean this Earret for me so that whenever I get a Jekyll random, I will get an Agility Potion and I don't have to level all the way up to 34 Herb Lore before doing that quest. In the meantime, after we complete Jungle Potion, I'm probably just going to grind out some Slayer and hopefully sometime soon we get a Jekyll random. Realistically, this is a very, very fluky method, but getting 34 Herb Lore is definitely going to be nearly as difficult. So we're just going to go ahead with this plan for a little bit. All right, all we have to do is spick to Truffidus, and this should be quest complete as soon as we turn this last one in. There it is, quest complete, 775 Herb Lore XP, which should be a level, I believe. Yes, actually two, I think I was 16, so 18 Herb Lore, solid. There is 50 attack, currently on a Rock Slug task, which is probably one of my least favorite tasks in this entire game. I absolutely hate salting these things. I'm pretty sure I got like 130 of them or something. But we're chugging through it. I actually have no idea how many I have left. I think it's like a little bit less than the amount of bags of salt I bought. So hopefully I don't mess up because I have no idea. Ooh, this is like the only thing I could have got from these that is good. I got myself some nice mystic gloves. That's fantastic, actually. I tell you what, boys, our freaking magic build's coming together. We got that Tome of Fire, some mystic gloves for plus three. I'm loving it. Oh, that could have been Jekyll right there. No, I'm not doing Leo. That has to be the worst random in this entire game. I don't even I don't even care. You can argue with me in the comments. Actually, leave a comment down below what you think is the worst random in the game. I'm definitely voting for Leo, I think. I can't think of any ones that are worse than that. Hey, there is 25 Slayer. Only a few kills after the Mystic Gloves, actually. We can now get assigned Cockatrices. Or Cockatrice? I don't know. I can't I can't talk today. There it is. That is task complete. We got up to 26, very close to 27 Slayer. Didn't get another attack level, but we're also very close to that. And I'm also close to a hit points level. Really close to a bunch of levels all around. And halfway through the task, I ended up getting a loop half of a key. So one more, if I get a tooth half somewhere off the rare drop table, that will be one Dragonstone at least. There is 27 Slayer. I actually got a task of Cockatrice. I 100% knew this task was going to come as soon as I got that level. But realistically, these aren't too bad to kill. I did have to buy a mirror shield, though. But they do drop a boot upgrade in Iron Boots. They also drop Mystic Boots. There's one other thing they drop, but I can't think of it this second. There is 44 hit points. <laughs> Once again, we're super close to 51 attack. But the other couple things they dropped that I forgot to mint that I could not remember in the last clip was that they drop Nature Runes commonly. As well as this is the first good chance I have at getting some medium clues to complete for ranger boots. They drop them at a rate of 1 in 128 and I think I had just over 100. So we have a really good chance of at least getting one this task. Hopefully we luck out and we do end up getting one of those. There it is. There is the 51 attack. 
I'm not gonna lie, these are actually a better task than I first thought they were. Oh boys, as you can see on the ground right there, we just got our first medium clue. We still have 51 left, but I'm gonna go ahead and go attempt to complete this. And hopefully, I can. Hopefully I don't get any hard emote clues that I can't get the items for. Yep, we got absolutely tragic news. Now I got the Falador part, Catch Me If You Can, which is normally a very easy clue part to complete. But I have not unlocked that song, and in order to unlock it, I have to complete Itchlerin's Little Helper, as well as uh, Rat Catcher's Quest, both of which are pretty long quests. So either way, I'm going to go ahead and knock them out because I need to do them for future anyway. Hey, there is 20 farming, and there we check it, 21 farming. This one is healthy as well. There is 22 farming. We are currently 3 for 3 with these all growing perfectly with just Super Compost, and I could not be more hype. Four for four, boys, on the first tree run of the account. That right there is how you do it, and there is 23 farming. Sadly, I do not have any more oak trees. So I'm probably going to have to do some master farmer, get up and pickpocket some master farmer so I can get some allotment seed to get my farming a little higher because I do have, like, some maple and willow tree seeds, but I'm still quite a bit of XP from being able to plant those. I almost forgot I also do have two genie lamps in my inventory not going to complain about getting lamps but i really wish they were jackal randoms we're going to go ahead and throw both of these on herb lore that should be a level getting me up to 19 i don't know if this one will be a level but they're both going on herb lore 190 xp no it does not but i'm over halfway to 20. okay so i've been afking sharks while i'm trying to get this jackal random yes i know completely inefficient but i am almost 80 fishing and i have over 3,000 sharks caught which is some serious healing food, which I'm really excited about. But as you see down here in my inventory, I caught a big shark, a 1 in 5k drop rate. Definitely a very cool item to get and put in your house. You can also see that I have not yet got my Jekyll random because the ear is still in my inventory. But I have gotten three genie randoms. I'm not exactly complaining because I will definitely take genies if I'm not going to be getting Jekylls. So let's just go ahead and use these while I'm in recording. Pop them straight onto herb lore. There is 20 herb lore. I don't think we'll get another level. I don't believe. Yep, there's a second, a third, 200 again, and no. Super close to 21, but there's 20 herb lore. Almost 80 fishing, only 18k away. 80 fishing! There it is. Quest complete. Ictrilin little helper. I probably just butchered that word. Do not worry about that. 4.5k thieving, 4k agility, and 4k woodcutting. Ooh, I actually did get a thieving and an agility level. Solid gains. We also get the cat speak amulet, and that leaves us with one more quest for that clue, and that is rat catchers, which I am not at all excited about. I tried to stall for a while, and I just did some AFK fishing because I've been dreading doing these two quests. This one wasn't terrible, but I'm not looking forward to rat catchers. Everything I remember about that quest is tedious and absolutely annoying, but let's go ahead and just go chalk it up for another... 40 minutes. Finally, there is the Rat Catcher's Quest complete. With all the teleporting, running, and avoiding guards, it took me every bit of an hour and a half with my agility level, but it's completed now, and that's the only important thing. 4.5k thieving XP, and we have access to the Rat Pitch, which was the whole purpose I needed so that I could go down to complete this clue. That should actually give me, yes it does, it gets me a thieving level. Might actually have got me two. I might have been 34. I don't remember from the last clip. You guys will because you saw it 10 seconds ago, but for me it was like two hours ago. But with that completed now, we're probably going to go head over and complete this medium clue and cap off the episode there. Well, I decided to come back and finish this task to see if I would get another medium clue. As you can see in my inventory, I have the medium casket that I'm going to open up when I end this episode. But as you see on the floor right here, we've got ourselves a pair of iron boots, which I don't even understand why these things are 4K each. But that is actually a best in slot boot for us. I actually have no idea if I've gotten these before. Not another medium clue, but that is Mystic Boots Light. And I know for a fact that I ended up getting the gloves on my rock slug task so if i didn't already get these before because i have no idea that's an absolute massive drop either way even if i already do have them that's a 6k out so absolutely fantastic only four more left i doubt i get another medium clue but who knows that was an absolutely clutch drop at the end of this task there is 30 slayer as well one left to kill 
We unlock Pyre Fiends. There is task complete. That is our seventh task, giving us another four points. And we are up to 12 total. We did not have Mystic Boots in the bank, so that is an absolutely sick drop. We now have Mystic Gloves and Mystic Boots, plus the Tome, making our mage setup absolutely saucy now. All right, let's go ahead and get another task from Vin. 108 Lesser Demons. Uh, hmm. They do only drop Rune Meds, but they also drop in Sold Heads, so it should be a pretty decent task if I can catch a few of those. I don't know how that's going to be killing those with this combat level. I'm probably going to be doing Prayer Flicking the entire task. Either way, I bet they're going to be some decent XP. Going to end the episode after we open this medium casket right here, but I actually forgot to mention in the earlier clips, Cockatrice are actually a very good task. I end up getting a bunch of limp words, quite a few good herbs, including two, oh, maybe just one Renar, but also 24 natures. And they're a medium clue dropper. Honestly, a very solid task. I was actually hoping to get some more of those. But without further ado, let's go ahead and pop open this medium casket. I'm really hoping I get lucky on Ranger Boots on this account because on my main, I've opened up a few hundred and have not seen a pair. And that is the grind I am least looking forward to. All right, let's go ahead and open her up. Uh, Addy Axe, that's actually a best in slot for me now. I don't know if this is better than the Parasi for tanking. Ooh, 14 Law Runes, that's actually solid. All around, not a, not a terrible clue at all. I will take that average loot because it's actually pretty solid for me. And that is my first medium clue scroll completed. Can't wait to complete some more of those, and hopefully I do get lucky on Rangers. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Consider subscribing. I know a lot of you who do watch these progress videos are not subscribed. So consider doing that, hitting that button down below. We are on that goal of trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you could, definitely smash that button if you are watching these videos consistently. And as well, drop a like because it helps these videos get recommended to more people. But if you are a subscriber and you're watching these videos, you may notice that the channel name has been changed as well as the art on the channel is different. So go ahead and go check that out. Put a lot of work into getting that done. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy episode 11 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. I hope you guys all have a great day, and I hope to see you in episode 12. Peace out.